All right, I'm getting started on the Ameritrine AL82. Originally a dual 3500Z box, heavy duty one, um, single piece amplifier, but this one was modded, not by me. Um, I bought it at the Dayton Swap recently in 2023 and um, it was a silent key and it had been modded um, for a three tuber and uh, I got it for a decent price as is um, guy didn't take the cover off but he's like okay you know make him an offer so I make made him an offer and he took it and we opened it up and it's not it's gonna need a little work um, I don't see anything too major wrong you know as long as um, the um, power transformer is good we should be in business and um, we checked the uh, diode banks, all the diodes and the caps. Um, we'll probably leave those um, in there because I think this amp is around 10 years old, I think. Um, it's not 50 years old, so uh, the caps should be good. Um, you know, if they test funky or uh, act a little funky, we'll change them out. But um, this is not a 50-year-old uh, boat anchor. Uh, this is a modern... 3500Z amplifier and it's one of the heavier um, made at least modern ones um, this is the um, I believe original transformer out of it uh, big old Peter doll and I think online I was reading that this thing ran at like 2200 volts at 0.8 amps or something like that um, and remember the Heathkit ones I always said that uh, Heathkit is a um, it's a decent amp, but it's uh, a minimal amp. It's kind of like a, it's not cheap, but it's more like a bar bargain basement amp. Um, I was looking up this transformer and I was, you know, reading about some of the comments on the heat kit. The heat kit is basically a uh, legal limit SSB amplifier. And if you push the heat kits too hard, you know, with the transformer and the cooling and the components and all, it's not going to hold on AM. Um, where this is um, more like a legal limit continuous duty amplifier where you can um, you know hit 1500 watt dead key and uh, key all day long every day you know um, and this thing would hold up and you can actually you know see the difference this thing is very very heavy uh, probably twice the weight of a heat kit and um, you know going through the top and you know the size of that transformer um, your diode bank but also look at the um, um, tune and load caps here I think that's the um, tune on the top and your uh, tank coils you know that's you know a lot heavier than a um, heat kit and your tune, if you could see it, is um, or your load is underneath there. But again, a lot more metal, a lot more spacing uh, than a heat kit, so it'll handle a lot more volts. Uh, you know, a lot more heavy duty. And actually, all these coils, you know, are for the ham bands. If this thing was set up for 10 meters only, you know, you would come off the um, tune cap here, and it would be that first. Um, that first uh, I'm having a senior moment but that first uh, cutout right there that would be all you need for the um, uh, 10 meters is those four turns or so give or take and remember I keep saying for most uh, amplifiers for 10 meters you know around four turns is all you basically need and the rest are you know for the ham bands you know uh, two more turns for 15 meters and you keep going for 20 and 40 and then 80 and um, this one must have 160 meters in it and that's what this uh, coil is for um, a lot of the older map amps only went to uh, 10 through 80 meters but for 160 meters you need you know a lot more turns so but again if it was 10 meters all I would need is um, those four turns or so from here to there and you wouldn't need no more, nowhere near as much capacitance, both on the tune and the load. 
those are for the ham bands too and uh, I guess an example of that is that um, Mako 750 that I bought at the swap the recent local swap that um, was made for 40 and 80 meters it's got big old caps in it and uh, a whole lot of coils and that's all because it was a 40 and 80 meter amp only but anyway um, here's the uh, two modified three tubes um, these two are original as you can see and then somebody added that third one but um, it's not finished I guess um, <clears throat> no parasitic uh, choke over to here and this parasitic is one of the things I haven't found yet so if anybody has um, a source for this parasitic choke here that looks like this made like this uh, let me know if somebody has one to sell I wanna get the exact same as we got here uh, and I'll just add it on uh, a parasitic choke to go to that third added tube and the chimney's different but uh, I may even have a uh, matching chimney like that not sure and then they added the um, filament transformer to the back of this thing uh, to light up the single tube um, and this big old transformer um, should be enough to handle the high voltage for all three of these tubes once I get it going but uh, I guess the reason I'm kind of making this video is help me out. If you know where I can get a parasitic that looks like this. And also we are doing some a little bit of pre-testing before we fired it up. Because we don't like things to go up in smoke. Uh, we try to test things as much as we can. Um, over here are two bias diodes. Where are they? They're in there somewhere. But also, this transistor here, I don't think it's factory. Um, I don't have a good schematic yet. I got some bad copies, but I couldn't find it on the schematic. So I think that's an um, add-on, and that doesn't look factory either. You know, you can see the, the factory work looks a lot better than that looks like a um, add-on, especially the transistor part. And the transistor is showing a short. But since I haven't uh, figured out exactly where it goes yet, um, I can't be totally sure. But if anybody has any information on that, whether that's an add-on or factory or... Uh, oh, there's the dials there. Silly me. The two, uh, I believe, 10-watt or 20-watt Zener diodes for the bias. And they seem to go regulate the pass transistor there. And that transistor seems to be shorted. Um if whatever it goes to is not low ohm. So anyway, that's kind of why I'm making this video is help me out this time. Tram Doctor need help. If anybody has um, any information or source on this um, transistor here, that circuit, whether it's a mod or a factory or whatever, if anybody knows anything about that or where I could see it or and all that, let me know. And again, if somebody has a... Um, source on that um, parasitic suppressor for that tube there and that's all I'm looking for with it everything else seems to be in order so um, I, I'm not sure if this fan is um, factory and it's got a blower in the back and chimneys and it's a hell of a amp so um, we got a couple of other parts uh, coming already for it um, that we saw but anyway this one here is um, semi got me stumped and I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel, so if anybody has information on that and or uh, the parasitic there, let me know. And that's going to be it for this one for now. Uh, when I get the parts and all that in and get it going, I will make another video. But that's the um, so far what we got going on the um, Ameritron AO. 82 um, heavy duty legal limit plus um, amplifier. Bye.